Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Generator Gazing. Today I want to talk about signature. In the Life Force lectures on the channels, Ra talks about people who have 63-4, so they have a fixed characteristic of skepticism and a life force energy of questioning and suspicion. Refusing to think about things that don't pass the muster of logical soundness. Well, he uses the example as not-self. They will be suspicious of all the wrong things. They'll be suspicious about human design. They'll be suspicious of the very thing that could help them. And it will all be motivated by the not-self, whether as split definition in the bridging gate or gates or otherwise in the centers. Maybe they have undefined ego, and so they're skeptical of anything that would raise up the tender, sensitive spot of feeling threatened, suspicious of what is threatening. Maybe they have undefined solar plexus, and so they become suspicious of anything that would rock the boat, that would bring up uncomfortable truths. Maybe they have undefined G, and they're suspicious of anything that locks them in because of the trigger of feeling trapped. Feeling that somewhere else there is somewhere, someone, something better for them. Each of these cases, the 63-4 is operating on the incorrect material, so to speak. The first line is going to investigate no matter what. But the kinds of things it's investigating can be correct or incorrect, depending on how much that person is living as themselves versus living out their conditioning. When you read the Dream Rave materials, it's just incredible. That level of weak point analysis. You have someone who has undefined spleen, and when they are asleep, they get the spleen activated. And all day in their waking life, they are pushing so heavily into making spontaneous decisions, being spontaneous, living in the moment, that heavy conditioning trip. And it's so hard for them to live as themselves, which is to say, planning things, planning in advance, getting used to things moving slowly, not making sudden decisions. That's so immensely difficult because they are being pushed into spontaneity every time they go to sleep, every night. Each of us has our weak points in the not-self, whether gates or centers, where we are heavily conditioned to live out something that has nothing to do with us. The undefined solar plexus, crying all the time, full of emotion, undefined ego, going through life expressing gratitude at everything, while remaining touchy about any perceived threat. We get so pushed into our not-self, and human design is about deconditioning from all of that, so you can return to yourself, to what is really you, what is really consistent and dependable within you, learning to trust what is really us, after getting rid of a lifetime of thinking Aspects of our subjective experience were us, that had nothing to do with us. And coming to terms with the acceptance of what and who we are, which is nothing like any of us thought we were before coming to human design. It takes years and years and years. Deconditioning is a real thing. It really happens. It's not conceptual. It has nothing to do with the mind. It's sensitization. And that sensitization makes us start to notice when we're off. It's still hard. Long-term transits are the hardest. A three-year activation by an outer planet. Well, it's hard to accept that isn't me. It feels like I finally changed. I finally become that thing I always had a feeling I would. And the truth is we don't change. We only come to accept what we are, to surrender to what we are, what we truly are, which is nothing like what we think of ourselves. None of us has an accurate picture of ourselves. 
Not before human design, not after. But after years and years of deconditioning and sensitization, we come to notice signposts. The signpost of correct versus incorrect investigations for a first line. We come to notice when we are wrapped up in something that has nothing to do with us, nothing to do with our signature. And it's really all about our signature. Without the satisfaction of being me, of getting to be me, the true pleasure that is the satisfaction that I personally feel, I wouldn't bother with any of this. It's hard work. The reward is in the signature. The reward is the signature. So to those out there trying to make sense of human design or trying to come to understandings about it, two very different things, incidentally, the abstract and the logical, be sure to look for the signpost of your signature. That's the truest signpost we have. And that will tell you whether you're investigating the right or wrong things. If you're a fifth line, whether you are universalizing heresy about the right or wrong things. And on and on. There are other signposts to be sure, but signature is perhaps the greatest, as it is our true reward in this life. <laughs>